She was Mary of Peter, Paul, and Mary, and when we learned about the death of Mary Travers last night, she died of leukemia at the age of 72. Not only did it mean another loss in what seems like a terrible string of prominent deaths lately, it meant the loss of a real generational voice. Mary Travers was all about harmony in all forms. Here is NBC's George Lewis. Paul and Mary burst onto the music scene in 1961, a group put together by Bob Dylan's manager. They would turn one of Dylan's tunes into a major hit and launch his career as well. Active in the civil rights and anti-war movements, they took part in the 1963 March on Washington. I have a dream. And provided some of the musical accompaniment for that dream. There was that feeling that everybody mattered, everybody counted. Peter, Paul, and Mary broke up in 1970, later reuniting from time to time until her leukemia forced her off the stage. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. This summer, we have said goodbye not only to Mary Travers, but also to many icons of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. There was Farrah Fawcett, Michael Jackson, Walter Cronkite, and the last of the Kennedy brothers, Teddy. One way in which people discover their mortality uh, is when their demigods and idols die. Mary Travers is survived by her husband, two daughters, and two grandchildren. George Lewis, NBC News, Los Angeles. And that's our broadcast on a Thursday night. Thank you for being with us. I'm Brian Williams. We hope to see you back here tomorrow evening. We'll leave you something from the Tomorrow Show, 1981 on NBC. Good night. Don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, babe, I still hate to go.